Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to show you how to flash back to stock recovery and stock color OS on your Oppo Find 7. So this is the X9076, so it's the international um, UK version. So I just want to show you first um, that I am on a um, custom ROM and a custom uh, recovery, as you can see, um, gummified uh, TWRP. So I'm just going to reboot now into system and you guys will be able to see that. What you're going to want to down download is uh, two things. First of all, the actual stock color OS ROM. Uh, you can find that on the Oppo forums um, officially. Uh, you can download anything, um, old versions to brand new beta versions, whichever uh, you fancy. And you're going to have to download Recovery Installer and this was made by uh, Parrot Z. Uh, on XDA forums, so it's a little nifty tool which I'm going to show you in a second of um, installing uh, stock recovery. Of course, you can install stock recovery via ADB, um, so you can do that with no problem. But um, this is the method I uh, personally suggest because it it works really really good. So I'm just going to let this um, reboot, and I'll be back once it's done. So as you can see guys, I am on a custom ROM right now, um, and obviously this is not um, stock um, stock color OS. So now what I'm going to do is turn this phone off and actually put it straight into bootloader mode, and that is um, fast boot. So bootloader mode is fast boot mode. So we're going to turn that into fast boot mode, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do on the computer right away. And now I'm going to connect up the phone via the USB and I'm going to open up this file that you download, the recovery installer. I'll provide a uh, dev host link as well just in case. So you open that and it comes up with a little loading screen. This usually comes with all the drivers but uh, just in case it's always worth uh, installing drivers. So over here you'll be able to see several different options and uh, what you're going to want to um, click no matter what uh, ROM you're really on uh, is number two. Uh, and the reason behind this is because the older um, recovery doesn't really work, at least it didn't work for, for me. So hit number two, it's going to do that and there you go and that means you've got um, stock recovery installed which is great. So now I'm going to take you back to the phone, you can disconnect your phone now um, and I'm going to go into uh, recovery mode, so holding down the buttons sometimes just takes a little while, it's natural. So as you can see guys now I am in the stock um, stock OS and we can uh, do everything that we'd want to via here. So what I'm going to do now is reboot the device and um, we're going to put a file on the internal SD card. It's always best to put it uh, whilst you're in the system. So that's what I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to let it reboot. Right guys, so I've just rebooted and as you can see I've just gone in the system. I'm going to connect this up to my computer and copy and paste the, um, the Color OS ROM uh, on my internal SD card. So you'll be able to see over here, I've actually uh, just downloaded the recent Color OS uh, that was uh, just released today. Um, and today is the 19th of uh, October 2014. It's the version 2.00. So I'm going to copy that across and then go and find my phone. And you're going to want to put it into your internal storage. As you can see, I've got loads of files over here. I can delete a few of these. Don't need them. And paste in that color OS. Now the color OS is quite a big file. Uh, it's about, uh, as you can see, 936 meg, almost a gigabyte, which is huge. Uh, whereas normal ROMs are around 188. Um, if I just zoom there, you'll be able to see 188 is the um, one of the ROMs that I've downloaded and another one was about 190 meg so yeah it's a huge difference in terms of size wise but uh, anyway uh, just let that download and put that on your internal SD card and now once that is done what you can do is disconnect the phone go back to my phone and now we can just double check and as you're able to see over here we've got the Color OS 2.00 on there so now what we're going to do again is go back into um, recovery. And so now we're booted into stock recovery. We're going to hit English. We're going to hit wipe data and cache. We're going to wipe that. Press yes. Okay. Install from SD card, mobile phone storage. 
and you can see there is the color OS. We're going to hit that and then press yes. And now we're going to just let this update and I'll get back to you guys once that is done. And there we go, installation successful. Now we can hit reboot. And there we go guys, as you can see it's just got it's just gonna go via um the installation. So I'm just gonna go through that right now. And there we go guys, so I've flashed over a color OS, and as you can see the color OS was successfully flashed and it's Android uh four point four point two. And there we go, it's as simple as that. Just a couple of um things that you have to do and once you've done it, then you're on stock um uh, recovery with stock OS. Hopefully this uh, video helped you. If it does, make sure you give it a nice thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And make sure you favorite and share this video to other people that might uh, find it useful. And by all means, leave me your comments below to say if it was helpful or not, or if you had any troubles, or if there was any other solutions that uh, are the ways that you found to do this same process. Alright guys, I've been totally dubbed. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Take care. Bye-bye.